Amen. Isn't Jesus wonderful? Amen. If you need an announcement sheet, raise your hand. The usher will give you one. Praise the Lord. We're glad to have everybody here today. It's going to be a great day. Got an announcement. Jan wanted me to announce that um, the uh, Reed family Christmas was supposed to be in the auditorium tonight. It has been canceled. There's sickness in the family, so they're not going to, to be able to do it. They're not rescheduling that you know of. Not that you know of. So no Reed family Christmas at the auditorium tonight, okay? Um, just you're going to enjoy everything. We've worked really hard at this. I think you're going to have a good time. You're going to laugh a lot. And, and, but I think at the same time, you're going to remember that, that Jesus is the reason for the season. I wanted to thank everyone who helped the other night with um, Once Upon a Christmas. We had about just approximately, maybe give or take a few, because some people signed their name and some people said so-and-so and family, so it could have been more, but we had approximately 80 people Friday night. So I thought that was pretty good. So praise God. And we had snow. Did you know we had snow Friday night? I had snow twice, and Diane is, is, is laughing back there, because Diane, Diane snowed on the sign, and, and Lloyd and I got snowed on, didn't we, Lloyd? Because <laughs> we carried the sign in, and it was wet, so I had snow on me, and then they had a snow globe at the Vesti Center, and every kid that went in there tracked the snow into the church. <laughs> but this is the kind that doesn't melt, okay? <laughs> I've been thinking, I was thinking about all morning, how am I going to tell that? We got snow, but not the kind of snow that I like, okay? <laughs> so just be believing God that we're going to get, even if it's just a few flurries for Christmas, i got to drive on Christmas Day, so I don't want a whole bunch of snow, okay? But maybe a little bit would be really nice, okay? All right, anyway, we'll go on from there. You know, I love Christmas, but we had a good time. We got a lot going on um, still this week. Um, Let's see, this Wednesday, we're going to have a special Christmas party, multi-generational uh, service on Wednesday night, so it's going to be fun for everybody, Lots of fun, and some food, too, afterwards at 7, so love to have you come, do, do some special things that night. Um, gonna still, Arlette, you're still having your Bible study Monday, and then Tuesday, Grub and Grow, and then um, Wednesday, like I said, is a special thing, and we're going to have Friday is the Mid-Nebraska Christmas party. So if you have a gift for one of the clients, I see people are bringing them to the back row there. Make sure they're here by Wednesday, okay? We need them by here by Wednesday. And then um, board, the board, we're going to be meeting next Sunday for lunch after church at the Velvet Rose. I got reservations made, and then we come back immediately here for end-of-the-year board meeting. So we have that. I uh, remember Christmas in the barn that is really fun. If you have not done that, that's out at the Mike Worm Farm over by Weber. And um, that's at 7 p.m. We've got people that are going to, to participate. If you are helping with that, if you've talked to me and said you could do it, then please meet us here at the church at 6. You can drive your own vehicle if you want, or otherwise follow us, or, or we'll give, get a ride, give you a ride, and we'll get there. We've got to get there in time to get costumes fitted and everything and be ready to start at seven so that will be a fun time and then um just reminder we're having our very first ever christmas eve service on the 24th at 6 p.m please come and we're advertising uh, carols candlelight and communion okay that's what rama does i thought well I'm, if rama can do that we could do that it's going to be fun and a great time and then we have finger food supper afterwards so, and then we'll have a, a regular Sunday morning service at um, Christmas Day at regular time. And it may just be done a little earlier. How do you know? Because I've got to drive three hours. So, so the pastor probably won't be too windy that day, okay? All right. And then we will have our special open house for our golden wedding anniversary for Bob and Don Polly on Saturday, December 31st from 1 to 3. Please come for that. And then we're going to have a, a New Year's Eve party here at 6 p.m. And then we'll have church the next morning, too. So lots going on. Can't think of, am I missing anything, anybody? And please stay afterwards today because we are going to have, I mean, cookies galore. 
homemade cookies galore and homemade soup, cheesy potato soup and chili and all kinds of sandwiches. It's going to be a great time. Plenty, plenty of food. So please come and do that. The ladies are working really hard to get that all ready. So please stay for that. It will be a great time. So why don't you go around, greet everybody, and tell them Jesus loves you, and so do I.
Lord, this uh, offering time to so just give you the opportunity to give this morning. If this is um, your home church and you're tithing this morning, just mark the envelope. If you're not, I'm going to give above and beyond your tithe. Uh, Conduit Missions uh, in Tennessee is our mission project. We, Sharon and I, Sarah and Jace, lived down in Tennessee, so we happened to be there, and we got to go to church there the other day. And I don't know if it's it's sometime real soon. They're going to celebrate Million Dollar Sunday, and what that means is they've they've given over a million dollars to get slaves out of rescue slaves in a I can't remember what country that. Do you remember what country they're in? They're doing that, but they're sl- they're the these people um, are slaves by. They they go into debt. They have a medical bill or whatever in whatever country they're in, and then these brick kiln owners go buy them, and they entrap them in slavery for the rest of their life because they have to pay for everything, and the little bit that they make never does pay their bill. So Darren and his church got together, and they're rescuing these people. They go in and pay the whole bill, and then rescue them out of slavery. So they've raised a million dollars to do that so it's amazing and on their wall in the church there they have a whole wall of pictures of all these families that they've done so when you're giving that's what you're giving you're giving to that ministry i'm not sure exactly what part they go into but but that's what they're doing so it's pretty cool go ahead yeah cool yeah so they're uh yeah it's pretty and the, the challenge they have now is the brook kiln owners are catching on to their game and they're making it harder for them. So they have to be more sneaky how they do it. So anyway, but it's cool. And they're doing, they're doing stuff all over the world. So it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. It's, it's, it's fun to be a part of what's going on there. So it's cool. So anyway, that's what our mission project for the month is if you give them to that. Great. Just mark the envelope. All righty. All right, well, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the op- our, all the opportunities we have to work and to serve you and to glorify you. And, Lord, we just thank you that in our giving, we're glorifying you. And we just thank you that with the right attitude and the right heart, it glorifies you and it and continues to grow and continues to produce. We thank you for the opportunity to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Right, so let's do our confession this morning. With the tithe and give offerings, I give to the Lord the lives and better. Raising and bonuses, benefits and promotions, sales and commissions, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, discounts and dividends, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, sales victories, sales paid off, blessings and increase, and greater victories in the midst of greater odds. Thank you, Lord, for giving all my needs to have more than enough to do to promote the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus' name.
Get out the lights, put up the tree. Same old stockings, same routine. Busy sidewalks, crowded stores. Somehow I've forgotten what it's all for. The word made flesh for me. Born a child and king. God, I want to feel the wonder of heaven touching earth. Hear a thousand angels sing, our God is here. Don't let there be a moment I miss. Don't let this be just another Christmas this year. May there be peace in every home. May the orphan know they're not alone. May there be joy in every heart. And may I fall more in love with who you are. God, I want to feel the wonder of heaven touching earth. Hear a thousand angels sing, our God is here. Don't let there be a moment I miss. Don't let this be just another Christmas this year. Just another Christmas. May my voice, my life, my all sing glory in the highest glory in the highest may your church your holy bride sing glory in the highest glory in the highest glory of heaven touching earth hear a thousand angels sing our god is here don't let there be a moment i miss don't let this be just another christmas this year just another christmas this year oh Don't let it be, don't let it be just another Christmas this year. Thank you.
fall down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is night. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and lead us forever to live with thee Everybody. I thought they'd be here by now. Oh, just sit in your chair and have a good time. It's early. Everybody will be here. You know, it'll, they'll come and we'll eat dinner and then we'll go to the program. And the program isn't until later. Did you say waiter? We don't need any waiter. They just serve themselves. You know no. what? I bet I get stuck doing the dishes. I bet you do too. But no, we will just all serve ourselves. Well, I can't wait to see my brother Bernie. <coughs> That's what I like about this Christmas, because it's time to get together with family and all these strange people, you know, and uh, just, just love them to pieces, even though Bernie don't do Christmas. What? Yeah. Bernie don't do Christmas? Nope. nope. He used to celebrate Christmas in a big way. He used to buy gifts for all the neighborhood children, and he made sure nobody went hungry on Christmas. And why he was a shepherd in, a, in the church nativity scene. And he did that for years. And then one year, I'll never forget this, he, he tripped over the pastor's <laughs> robe. He fell in this old lady's lap, <laughs> and it took him forever to get him untangled. <laughs> it, was, it was a sight. But you know, I got to thinking, uh, he got that store, he bought that stupid store, and, and I never saw him anymore. Well, they should be here soon. Just sit here in your chair. My hair? What's wrong with my hair? Mustard. We got Ooh. burgers on the square. We 
it's got. I don't think I'll even tell you what that flavor is. <laughs> we also got candy canes. Are also all purpose candy canes. We can hide over you can't even touch it. I don't know what's that. We tell them to turn on my mic. Turn on my mic. Turn on it somewhere. And we're back. There we go. How about that? Now I'm going to have to start all over. No, not really. <laughs> and this candy cane you can use for face decoration. Also, our candy canes can be used for that itchy ear that's always giving you trouble. <laughs> or you can use it for a tongue dispresser. <laughs> Tastes a little waxy. Anyway, candy canes at Bernie's One Stop Shop. ready for you to spend the night. Light? Did you say light? <laughs> well, we got plenty of light. Well, maybe if we need more, there's some 100 watt bulbs behind the tree, Bernie. Go get them. No, I'm sorry. We won't be able to spend the night. We just came here to have supper with you. I've got to be at the store early in the morning. Tomorrow? Tomorrow's Christmas. That's right. And there'll be lots of last-minute shoppers looking for bargains. I have to get there to, to help to help out. Sam will be there, but I gotta be there to help him. I told Bernie that was gonna be home for Christmas as a family. I've got that covered. I gave him a five-dollar coupon for five dollars off of a, a hamburger turkey at Small Mart. I told him he could leave at five instead of six. And for those last minute shopping needs at Bernie's One Stop Shop, our next special is spatulas. We have plenty of spatulas for you. We got the little kid spatula. We got the pancake patter spatula. We got what we like to call the discipliner. <laughs> we also have the hamburger flipper, but our biggest seller and our most important seller, and the inventor is right here in the house, is our Busey all-purpose 5,000 spatula. Busey uses this all-purpose spatula. It can be used for hamburgers. You can kill flies with it. And most importantly, and then you can still flip your hamburger. While in a cold day, especially when it's coming up now, you can use it to scrape your windows off. You can get the ice off them windows. And this is a double all-purpose one. If your air, or defroster is not working, this can also be used inside the car to scrape your windows off. The Patsy Busey Special 5000 <laughs> oh, could be yours today, 1995 at Bernie's One Stop Shop.
it's, it's Maudine and Richard. I'm glad he's able to come. I didn't think he'd be able to come. I know. I got on the course. I'm going to come over early. You must have supper with you. Richard, I told you to meet the Matinee and Dutchie until after the program. But when I get home, I, sit, I, go, I want to sit in the kitchen in the bathroom. Oh, that's right. That's right. Put the cake on the table here. Put the cake on the table. Look, you guys, I want you to meet my brother, Bernie, and his wife, Hi, Violet. Bernie. Did you say rice? Somebody bring a rice? I don't like rice. I hate it and I'm not gonna eat it. Yuck. Okay, that's fine. Are they gonna go to the program after supper? Oh no. Bernie, don't do Christmas. What, what do you mean he don't do Christmas? And that brings us up to our next item at Bernie's One Stop Shop. You just heard it. You want it, Ma Dean's Fruitcake. Ma Dean's Fruitcake is absolutely delicious. The special today, normally $14.95, but today, if you're stupid enough to buy it, $19.95 for Ma Dean's Fruitcake. And we've got some right here, a good sample here for you right here, and Ma Dean's Fruitcake. It is delicious. Let's give it a taste test. Yeah, that's Maudine's fruitcake. <laughs> oh. You can also use Maudine's fruitcake for coasters if you need to have extra coasters around. <laughs> or add water, put it into a blender, you can have 14 more cakes. That's Maudine's fruitcake, doorstop, and it's also a bad uncle deterrent. If you've got some relative you don't want to come next year, give them Maudine's birthday cake. you heard Bernie don't do Christmas. <laughs> that is the same outfit you wore last year, no. even the little red bird. No, it's not. <laughs> it's certainly not. What do you mean Bernie don't do Christmas? And we're back with the next commercial. Boy, am I getting a workout. At Bernie's <laughs> One Stop Shop, we have our only combo of the day. Our only combo of the day, both Bernie's burnout for when you've had those hard car rides and an upset stomach, not feeling well, comes in tablet and liquid form. But we also have his baby brother Brim, Brim Snowballs. We got Brim Snowballs brought to you here. And so it, these snowballs can be used spring, winter, fall, anytime you want to have a snowball fight or you want to eat. We've got snowballs right here. You got snowballs, see, that's going really well. We got snowballs. Brim snowballs. 
Right here, the combo all together, $20 even for Brim Snowballs at Bernie's One Stop Shop. just fine. You know, even though I'm the director, I'm not the type of person to tell people what to do. Never, never, not. <laughs> Bernie don't do Christmas. <laughs> Bernie don't do Christmas. Uh, Bernie don't do Christmas? Uh-uh. Oh, mm -hmm. You know, everybody, we need to get started eating because it'll be time for the program and we don't want to be late. Aunt Vera, would you please say grace? Everybody, let's bow our heads. Oh, God, help us all. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Which brings us to our next commercial at Bernie's One Stop Shop. What we have here, as you've noticed during the play, we have here what's been commonly known as Vera, Aunt Vera's hearing aid. We have Aunt Vera's hearing aid right here when Aunt Vera can't quite hear. Great for conversations with Aunt Vera. Indoors and outdoors. The closer, the better. Oh, Master and we can even turn it up a little higher. Yeah. Aunt Vera's oh, hearing aid. And if okay. you happen, for some unknown reason, have had some fruitcake and are delirious, so and you let Aunt Vera drive, you can hang out the window. <laughs> you let people know that Aunt Vera's coming. That way it's a lot safer for all. And and with Aunt Vera's hearing aid, we have a special feature only at Bernie's One Stop Shop. If you have bad kids that live next door, if you have neighbors that give you trouble, bring Aunt Vera onto the scene. I need your kids to be good. You better be good or I'm coming out there. <laughs> That's Aunt Vera's hearing aid. You want to get it right now. Normally $49.95. Today only $15.95 at Bernie's One Stop Shop. <laughs> I've eaten so much. I'm going to have to call Weight Watchers. <laughs> Richard, I sure hope you will fit in your costume. Well, if you can fit into yours, I'm sure I can fit into mine. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. Oh, hello, Pastor and Mrs. Smith. Everyone, it's Pastor and Mrs. Smith. I know it's a little late for supper, but we've got plenty of food. We can get you something to eat. Well, thanks, Harriet. We've already eaten. Thanks for the offer. But we just came from Charlie's house, and he's not feeling well. Matter of fact, he won't even be in the program. That poor family's had such a rough time this year. What's wrong with Charlie? His little daughter is so sick. They're having to stay up with her. 
The doctor says she'll be okay, but it'll take a little while. Yeah, and you know, he probably lost his job at the sawmill, and therefore now you pay them the same premium hard. They're not going to have a very good Christmas this year. I'm not sure they're even going to be able to buy gifts for the children. I wonder if there's something we could do to help them. You know, I'm fixing a huge ham. I could take the, uh, part of the ham there, and then I could take my famous fruit cake. It's rock solid. Rock solid. <laughs> oh, goody, goody. <laughs> I have some extra gifts that I could wrap up for the children. Hey, John, what if we help with the chores and cut firewood for them? Can we do that? Uh-huh. <laughs> you mean to tell me that these people are going to spend their time and money helping someone at Christmas time when they could be at home with their own family? Well, that's true, Bernie. That's a good question. But you see, these people, they realize that if Jesus is their Lord and Savior, they want to be just like him. And they know that it's more blessed to give someone something than to always receive. You know what? I just remembered Charlie was going to be a shepherd in the play. Who's going to play the part? You know what? Bernie. Bernie. Why don't Bernie. you be Bernie. the shepherd? I've been told you've been a shepherd in the past. We need you, Bernie. Yes, Bernie. We Bernie. Need you. I don't know about that. Yes. Oh, Bernie. 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 You can do it. We need you. Well, if you think so. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> That's right. Well, thanks a lot, Bernie. That's a huge help. Well, listen, everyone. We've got a program to put on and things to do. Let's go. You take the fruitcake, honey. Which brings us to our next commercial at Bernie's One Stop Shop. Remember, Bernie's One Shop Stop. We have everything you need, and if we don't have it, you don't need it at Bernie's One Stop Shop. Our last special of the day is Superbook. The Superbook. Everything you need to know is in this book. Every answer to any and all questions. No problem is too big. No problem is too small. Right here in this Superbook at Bernie's One Stop Shop. Well, I sure am. In Philippians 4.19, if I can find it, I think it's in the New Testament. It says, luckily we need to stall for time. <laughs> Philippians 4.19, I did this last night. Well, said I can do it. it. Here it is right here. It says, but I have everything in abound. I've been filled, having received sweet, acceptable, personal God, but my God shall supply every need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. There you go. Your answer that you were looking for. And every answer is in this book. So you're telling me if I come down with the flu, if I start coughing my head off, if I need to go to the doctor, you're telling me that book has the answer? This book has the answer. And 1 Peter 2.24 I actually got there a little quicker this time. <laughs> and aren't we faithful? Amen. <laughs> it says, He himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live into righteousness, and by whose wounds we have been healed. There you go. There's your answer you were looking for right there. Oh, well, I want to know if that book tells me about this world, because it is in such chaos. Brother hating brother, the, the crime is high, the government's crazy. It has it right here in Matthew 6, 25 through 34. It says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought about your life. What will you eat? What will you drink? Nor about your body. What will you put on? Is there not life 
Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. Do they not sow or do they not reap but get, nor gather in barns? Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than they? Who among you will take thought about adding a cubit to his stature? Why take thought about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither work nor do they spin. Mm -hmm. Yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory is not dressed like one of these. Therefore, if God clothes the grass of the field, which is today, here tomorrow, and is thrown into the oven, will he not even more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things. For your heavenly Father knows what you need, all of these. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be added unto you. So that was the answer to that. And before you hit me up with another question, this all answer book has even the answer for hecklers. It has the answer for hecklers. In 2 in Kings 2.24, 2 Kings 2.24, it says, he turned, oh, well, I'll start at 2.23. He went up there from Bethel, and going on the way, little boys came out of the city and made fun of him, and said to him, go up, you bald head, go up, you bald head. He turned around and saw them and cursed them in the name of the Lord. Then two she-bears came out of the woods and mauled the boys. So don't make me call she-bears. It does. As a matter of fact, you can be nice and get insights straight from this book. Actually, straight from the author. Oh, well, good. And I'm finding it right here. Romans 10, 9. It says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes with righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So you'll be saved. You'll have insights to this book. This book will do everything, give you all the answers. And how much was that book at this store? If you come and ask nicely, we'll give you one. Oh, praise God! All right. Bernie's One Stop Shop. shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and lo the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round them and they were sore afraid and the angel said unto them fear not for behold I bring you the good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David Savior, which is Christ the Lord, and shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes laying in a manger. <coughs> and suddenly there was the angel multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will toward men. <laughs>
you know? I didn't know what I was doing first, but then I got to thinking, God's doing something in my heart. This was really touching. That tends to happen? You know, is God really working on this earth today? Yes. I see so many sad things happen every day, and sometimes I wonder if there really is a God. But then I just see such goodness and love that he sent a baby into this world. Does he really love us? Yes, Bernie. So it's not about just making money and trying to get rich? Bernie, you know that story about? Yeah. You know uh, how Christmas is tomorrow? Right. Forget about the store? You know how much I grow how much I, I I gross every year? It's a lot. Especially with that commercial guy, that PR guy. He <laughs> he brings a lot of money in. I pay him pretty good too though. That surprises me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gave him a year's supply of, of Maudine's fruit cakes. <laughs> I believe he is. <laughs> anyway, so there's more to life than that, right? Yeah. What's going to happen? Am I just going to die and going to go into a, to a hole in the ground and just rot? No. I'm not? No. What's gonna, what do you think is going to happen? If I don't know Jesus, I'm not going to heaven? I kind of picked that up. Vera's been <laughs> preaching to me for years, you know. Yeah. So there's a place called hell. Yeah. It really is real. It's not just make-believe. Yeah. And I could go there. Yeah. And it's burning all the time. Yeah. And an air conditioner wouldn't really help, would it? No. So I don't think I want to go there. No. So what do I have to do? Okay, Bernie. Give a donation to the church? No, but I think that helps you in heaven somehow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Giving might come, come in handy sometime, right? Yeah. Well, Bernie. What do I have to do? What if there's somebody out here who doesn't know the Lord just like me? Uh, you say things that happen to them. What if they're watching on Facebook? Uh, they, can. they could do that too? Yeah. So they're supposed to pray what you tell me to pray? Yeah. Okay. Just as long as we know what we're doing here. Well, how can I hold my staff and do that? Nope. <laughs> okay. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I believe. I believe. That you sent your only son. That you sent your only son. To die for me. To die for me. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come into my heart, Jesus. And be my Lord. And be my Lord. And my Savior. In Jesus' name, Jesus name amen. You know, Bernie, Thank you. You know, Bernie, I gotta tell you something. I'm pretty sure this whole nativity, it happened. Wow. You. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you.
Bernie's one-stop shop. Remember, everything is there at Bernie's shop. We have everything. And if we don't have it, you don't need it. Our first special was Candy Cane's 1995 Hurry. Spatulas, our Busey all-purpose 5,000 is only $13.99. Modine's Fruitcake, 1995. You don't necessarily have to hurry about that. There'll be more to next year. Also, the combo special, Bernie's Burnout and his little brother's Brim Snowballs. That whole combo is $20. Aunt Vera's hearing aid right here, $15.95. You'll need to have it. And, of course, the Superbook. Just stop by Bernie's store. They'll get you one. So don't delay. Act now. Let's wrap it up. Oh, my gosh, Vera. That was the best nativity scene I've ever seen. I think so, too. <laughs> It did my heart good to see my little baby brother Bernie kneeling, you know, as a shepherd again. And oh, I just almost shouted when I saw this. Where did they go? You know, I don't know. He said he had a few things that he had to take care of, had to make some phone calls, but he, they said they'd be here soon. that spare bedroom for us looks like we're gonna stay tonight and through Christmas Day and you know I made some phone calls to some friends of mine and I talked to the bank they're gonna set up a special fund for for Charlie and I talked to dr. Jones and he's gonna give some free medical help to Sally oh, and you know the store has been pretty busy lately too and so Sam could use some help so we're gonna get Charlie to help him out too and then I called uh, Charlie up and, and called Sam up too, called Sam up and told him he didn't have to work anymore, he could go home and not come back till after Christmas. He just couldn't believe it was me. I told him <laughs> to take a ham and go home and, and just enjoy the holidays. He couldn't believe it was me. He kept asking for further identification. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bernie, you used to make me pretty mad. But you know what? I've been praying for you all these years, and I love you. I know you have, Vera, and I'm glad you didn't stop. Pop? Did you say pop? What do you want pop for? You want pop? If there's pop out in the refrigerator if you need some. I'm hurting. I'm glad that you do Christmas again.
Let's give everybody another hand. And we're not going to forget our director either. Just a minute. <laughs> so you have to be in suspense. But something's coming here in just a minute. But I want to thank everybody for coming today. I want to thank everybody who worked so hard to do that. And you know, we prayed <laughs> and we asked for the anointing. I want to cry. I just think it was so wonderful. And we've had kids, amen. <laughs> you know, we don't have a lot of kids right now, but I want to thank Caitlin and Mary and Levi for being so brave. I've had a lot of kids through the years give the altar call, but I don't think we've ever had a fifth grader. And what he said, it's going to touch my heart for years and years. So I want Kaylin, Mary, and Levi to go help Miss Lois, please. Can you, go, you guys go help her? And you guys help bring up the stuff. You guys can do that. Well, Mrs. Weiss to come up here. Now, I love to say this. I don't know if she likes it anymore or not. She was my kindergarten music teacher at Broody. <laughs> I was little at one time in my life. <laughs> so I've known this lady for many, many years. And this lady has a work ethic that does, doesn't quit ever. She works so hard. And she put up with all of us. Yeah. yeah, that's wrong. There's a gift card to some place you really like to go. There's something special in there, and then there's some flowers that you can enjoy year-round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's somewhere where you like to go to get pampered. So I'll make you be wondering about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we love you, Kathy, in case you didn't realize it, and we appreciate you. Thank you for your hard, hard work. Do you want to say anything? Thank you. Thank you all for all the work you put in because it was <laughs> kind of tough from start to finish, but it, we got it done. And thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Enjoy. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for coming. Let's have a word of prayer, and then we're going to want you to please stay. And we're going to go into the fellowship hall and have some soup and sandwiches and homemade cookies. I mean to tell you, there's so many of them. Father God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for using this play. And, and thank you for those that watched online. We don't even know how many watched online, Father, that it's touched hearts today. We thank you for it. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for the rest of this Christmas season that you just anoint us and help us to do those things that we need to do but not to forget the true meaning of christmas is jesus and let people know and we can let them know just through our everyday activities and you can open doorways for us to witness and share the love with others the love of jesus we thank you for it father and we thank you for this food that we're about to partake of we ask that you bless and sanctify it to the nourishment of our bodies bless the hands prepared and the hands are serving it and we just give you the glory honor and praise in Jesus' name, amen. amen. So we'll just make sure that when the ladies are ready to serve, that we can do that. And we love you so much. God bless you. And Diane Nelson did this beautiful nativity scene behind. It was just gorgeous. Thank you, Diane. Sound man, lights, everybody. Thank you.